and good morning, good afternoon, or good night, wherever you are, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick review of a product that was really popular a while ago. I don't know if it's still as popular, but it is ta -da! the J1 Jelly Pack. And a lot of YouTubers were talking about this when it first came out, or at least when it first hit Sephora in the US, because it was supposed to be this great primer that was like primer and skincare mixed together. And so I was dying to try it because it is a Korean beauty product. And um, it says on here, dramatic firming skin with approved elasticity and pore smoothing. I picked this up at Sephora, I think during one of the sales that they have throughout the year. And I had a gift card, so that's the reason I got it. I needed a new primer and I wanted to try it out. It is almost gone now. I've been using it for, I think, a few months. And um, I wanted to let you guys know how it is. So let's get into the review. Oh. So first of all, at Sephora right now, the J1 Jelly Pack retails for $42, which is quite a bit of money. Um, the last primer that I used was the, um, what was the last primer that I used? I think the last primer that I used was the Nivea Men Shape Balm because uh, Nikki Tutorials talked about that. But before that, I think it was the, what is that one? The Smashbox Photo Finish, which is more affordable than this. You can get the little travel size one for like 10 bucks, and I think the full size one is like 30 something. But I always got the travel size one and it lasted me a long time. Um, this only comes in this one size. Now on Joel C, the J1 Jelly Pack is actually $21.60 right now. So that is a much more affordable price. It is half the price of Sephora. That being said, even though shipping is free through Joel C, the free shipping I believe takes a while. So if you're not placing a big order, then maybe it's more convenient for you to purchase from Sephora. But double the price is insane. And it's discounted right now, but normally it's $27 on here. So you're still saving quite a bit of money by buying from a website like Jolsey rather than Sephora. The only reason I picked it up there is because I have the gift card. Now let's talk about the product. So people were really braved about this product when it first came out, which is why I wanted to buy it. Um, it's a very sticky primer, but it was said that when you pat it into your skin, it gives this amazing finish. I'm wearing it right now. I've been wearing it in most of my videos for the past couple months. But honestly, I don't really see a difference between when I wear it and when I don't wear it. Um, I don't notice that my skin is more firmed or more smooth looking or that my foundation even lays better on top of this primer. Which is kind of the whole point of a primer, right? You want it to make you look poreless and smooth and help your foundation stay. I don't even really feel like this does that. I feel like my Wet n Wild setting spray does a better job of keeping my makeup on my face than this does. Um, <laughs> so that being said, there's not really much else that I have to say about this product, which is why I said it was going to be a quick review. For me, it doesn't really do any of the things that it says it's going to do. Now, that said, I could have a situation kind of like my Cynic Honey All-in-One Ampule where I use it and I don't think it's making that big of a difference, then I stop using it for a long time and realize how much of a difference it made. Because it does take a couple weeks for your skin to change and get used to what you are or are not using. So I could have that situation with this. I will let you guys know if I do. But right now, it's just, it is definitely not something that I would buy again because it was not, it didn't do anything that it said it was going to do. It did last for a long time and that is the only pro that I have for this product. It also did not break me out. So I guess there are two pros for this product because I didn't notice any new acne popping up, any new pimples popping up, but it didn't do what it said it was going to do. So I give this a big thumbs down, which I feel like is a minority opinion <laughs> because most YouTubers and most reviews that I saw of this product were raving about it. So I felt so weird that I didn't love it the way that everybody else did. But everyone's skin is different, so if you tried this and didn't like it, then maybe you have skin like mine. And that might mean that all of the reviews that I do are more geared towards skin like yours. So that's a good thing to know. But I have to give this a heart rating now. And I hate to say it, but one heart. I don't think I've given a one heart rating before. But honestly, if, if this product doesn't do what it says it's gonna do, I feel bad giving it one heart because it didn't do anything bad, but it didn't do anything good. 
So I kind of feel like it should be in the middle somewhere, but that's not how ratings work. I'm trying to rate this based on how well it works. It did not work well because it didn't do anything. So um, I'm still on the search for a good primer. I think I'm going to go to Etude House next for a primer um, because I've heard their primer is really good. And uh, I'll try and do a review on that for you guys. Hopefully I'll pick that up in my next Jolsey order. That is basically it for today's video. I know it was really short, but um, I just wanted to let you guys know my thoughts on this. And especially because my thoughts are different. And I really think it's important for there to be different opinions out there. Like people who like it, people who don't like it. What based on everybody's skin types. Because everybody is different. So like if 30 people out there on YouTube love this and I and a couple other people don't, it might help people who also don't to see, oh, this is a YouTuber that has a similar skin type to me. If they like a product, maybe it'll work well with my skin as well. So that's it, guys. Sorry, it was kind of like a bad review this week. Product that wasn't that great. But I will have a different style of review coming up for next week, which should be fun and interesting. But uh, we'll wait till next week to take a look at that. But that is it. I hope that you guys have a lovely weekend. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you all back here next time. Bye. It does take a couple weeks for your motorcycle.